Good day guys, I'm Model Gaming and welcome back to We Happy Few They Came From Below DLC. We uh we left off last part. The uh the robots invaded Wellington Wells, killed a load of people, we stopped them. And now we have to re-enter the facility, and I'm assuming go through the second act of the game. Uh James is still pissy with us, but that's okay. We've got a ray gun. God, Dr. F was here to put a wrench in their little invasion. Yeah. Where would we be now? Where would we be? Oh, you're thinking about something, I can tell. She said she was trying to figure out how to stop them. I bet she's in the research wing. Oh, look there. All right. Just don't touch anything unless I tell you it's safe. What makes you the bloody How expert? about not having triggered an invasion of lethal robots. Post hoc ergo propter hoc? Is there somebody else you'd be happier with? Is there someone that's not gonna be so pissy every time I go through an area? That would be grand. Do androids dream of electric sheep? That's a good question. Do androids dream of electric sheep or do they want real sheep? I think that is the question that we have to answer. Faraday, come on. Come on out. We all know what you're doing. We think. Humans and overseers only. Are we heading into a vault? Is this what's happening? Christ, this is a bloody Rosetta Stone. Who's she when she's at home? It's those marks the robots make. And how they sound and what they mean. There's only about 40 words, but... How many of them are exterminate? Why is there a word for happiness? Do you think she was trying to teach them about us? It obviously didn't take. Or they learned too much. Hmm. Interesting. I'll take that healing bomb off you, sir. Well, we have a lack of a, uh, a lovely person in a bowler hat, so I guess we have to do the work ourselves. Look at this lovely trip that we've got. I can't even sit down. What a horrible ride. We're going over the top of some sludge that'll probably kill me if I fall in. Five out of five would not ride again. There's some sort of lab at the far end, I think. If I'm right, she's there. Okay, can I possibly, like, go through here without setting off the lethal robots? That would be really grand. It really would. So, if I just, like... Uh-oh. No, 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 no. I've got a bunch of bottles that I could use. Let's just see if I can get around these guys without actively, like... Yeah, without actively fighting them. It wants to be a real boy. Oh dear God. Hang on a second, what are you talking about, Roger? Oh, that's a lot of reading. Okay, just uh, pause that if you want to read it. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. That's right, you robots. You might be robots, but you're still dumb as rocks. There we go. Oh, what the hell's going on up here? There's a party. Look at that. Stealthy as a ninja. The schematic says you're now in the activator test chamber. Whatever the activator is. Is Faraday there? If she is, she's got a really impressive disguise. There's some sort of curious device here, though. I'm not sure what it does. Then leave it the fuck alone, bro! How about no? When you see a mysterious device, you must pick it up, even though we've seen this curious device before. There are all these experiments. I think I'm supposed to use it. I'm quite positive that you are not supposed to use it. Shut up, James. We all know we're supposed to use it. I'm even going to drink some coffee because I'm getting a lot of it. Okay, what is going on with here? Push and pull. Okay, maybe we have to go with push. Yeah. Wasn't that clever? I think I've spotted Dr. Faraday. Do you know that cargo room that you were just in? 
There's some sort of gondola that goes out of it just above the lab. There's a lift, but it's locked. Maybe I can open it from here. Try it now. I really shouldn't do this, but now, now I'm now I'm curious and uh, pause all that if you want to read it. I'm I'm gonna go test some stuff. That 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 was a one-off, right? Okay, move down. Oh god. I feel very bad that I'm doing this. But I can't stop. This last one's just going to kill them, isn't it? Okay, Dr. Faraday was into some very, very weird shit. So if I can, I'll just like work my way around these guys like I did last time. It's totally fine. They don't see me or nothing. Let's just work our way around these guys again. Don't need to bother them. If they want to patrol this area, they're more than entitled to it. That's right. You guys didn't see nothing. Uh-oh. Please turn around. Please turn around there. That's right. You stinking robots. Just go back to where you came from. God, that sounds so evil to say. There we go. Out of sight, out of mind. All right. There's some sort of gondola here, but it seems to be locked up. According to the schematics, there are two of those panels that you can use the ray gun on. They're, um, at the other end of this room, about 50 feet up the wall. Well, how the hell am I supposed to get to them? You're the smart one. Figure it out. Oh, man. Well, Roger, he kind of has you there. You're always claiming to be the smart one, yet when you're asking for advice, then you can't figure it out. You kind of did that one to yourself, man. I'm sorry, but you did. It's fine. Nothing that a little bit of parkour can't fix. Absolutely fine. Let's just not fall down there, because I really don't want to... I really just don't want to antagonize those guys down there. Really, really don't. Okay, let's just do that. What else we got? Now, equip the ray gun. And... Ba-ba-bang! That's one of them? Yay, that was only one of them! Now I need to go all the way back over here and go all the way around so that I can reach the second switch. Parkour be damned. Did you guys hear that? No? You're being stupid again? That's good. That's absolutely fine. Alright, lower that down. Hop over here to here. Move this lovely cage out of the way. And shoot myself a switch. I got them. I'm gonna go see if I can power the switch and open the door to that gondola. You do that. Because those, those guys down there obviously didn't hear the commotion that I'm, I'm doing up here. Obviously not. It works! What was she thinking? Maybe the robots did it for her. I wonder if they secretly hate her. Oh, you have no idea. You have no idea, Roger. There must be some way we can talk to the robots. Maybe some of these dead robots aren't all the way dead. Maybe we can turn one of them back on. Don't turn any robots on. Roger, this isn't some philosophical hypothesis to, to bank on. This is an actual fucking situation. You really have a very great contempt for me, don't you, James? Oh. Puppy, I... You think all my theories are bollocks? Not all of them. You can't imagine things different from the way you think they are. What the hell does that mean? You think it's safer to be terrified of everything strange, and you think I'm a child for even trying to embrace it. But sometimes there's a bigger price for being a coward. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't mean that. I... Go fuck yourself, Roger. I left everything for you. 
Roger. Roger. Wow. Trouble in paradise right here. What the hell was that? Okay, Roger. You seem to break everything you ride. Oh, that's pr no. That, that was probably a wrong thing to say. No, I, I take that back. Jesus, what is it with these long ass notes? Robo renegades. Did Dr. F lose control of these things? Maybe. I mean, they are, they are robots. If they're sentient robots, they might have decided it's time to be smarter than the person that's smarter than them. Oh god, don't fall in the pit, please. That was bloody fucking terrifying. Have I become brave? Probably not, but we're just going to put it down to that. What is it with this place and elevators? Oh, this doesn't obviously look like a trap. Intrusion in sublimation vat. Deploying countermeasures. Defend the facility. Oh, that's a spanker. That's a that that's a spanker. Oh, I haven't seen one of those in a while. Okay, take the take the healing bomb before I die. Oh guys, just seriously go away. You want to hit me? Hit that. Huh? Huh? Hit that. Hit that. And this. 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 That's right. You guys can't handle the bacon. You want the bacon. And you can't handle the bacon. What is this room? It's a death trap is what the hell it is. I think they do something with the motelin here. Lots of dead robots. Was she testing their puzzle-solving ability? Or her ability to program them? That's a very good theory there, man. Oh, how am I getting past this? Um, That is a good question. I think we're gonna do this. Uh, maybe not that, though. Maybe, like, th this? Uh, there we go. Ow! That was my lower legs. Damn frickin' laser field. Really? Really, Roger? You can't jump two meters above your own weight? Put that there. I can walk around that there. Is there anything I should be picking up, by the way? I feel like there is, and I'm just missing it. Uh, that's probably the wrong one. Okay. Do that there. Now move this one like so. There we go. Cut that off. Okay, move that up. And now move it to the right, so we can get across there. Ad what are you saying, man? Seriously. I'm guessing he's saying Latin words right now, and I don't understand anything. This is what you get for not taking Latin in school, people. Oh god, more robots. Can I just stay above these guys? No. No, I cannot. It appears I have to fight the robot. Hi, sir. Are you lost? Are you looking into a corner, thinking about life's decisions? You might be the perfect candidate for a ray gun. Ray gun. Strictly in your face. You're in the, uh, agricultural prototyping room. I suppose a giant spider would be useful to dig weeds out of your garden, if it had a brain. Or three. Bloody creepy, though. What is that sound? Who cares? Kill it before it sees you. Oh my god, he 
he's tearing one of the thing's heads off. It keeps repeating one word. Sorrow. That's the word it's saying. Hate to break it to you. Robots don't feel sorrow, mate. I think it's some kind of sad song. No, Dodge, no. That doesn't make any sense. They are robots. Out of control. Homicidal robots. They're killing people. My God. They think and feel. And I've killed so many of them. Oh, you really had to put that thought into my head. Why? Why are they attacking the town? Roger, this is not you and your posh mates pontificating philosophy in a dining hall. It don't matter why. Uh, let's not go that way. That way is, is fighting more... Okay, I don't feel as bad when they're trying to kill me. Um... I mean, I mean, I will feel bad if I have to kill them if they don't kill me, but... Okay, now I'm overthinking this. And pause that if you want to read it. More kidnapped robots. Faraday looks like she's kidnapping people. A long stretch. She used to be a lovable person, and now she's just a kidnapper. Okay, let's just, um... Okay, good, that robot is gone. I don't have to hurt him. Oh. There you go, I took him out before he saw anything. That's not murder, that's just being... That's just being an ass is what that's being. So, there's at least one robot who can speak English. I'd love to meet him. If she didn't torture him to death. Alright, you know what? I can leave you alive. Like, I, I don't need to kill every single robot in here. I'm gonna go pew pew on your ass, buddy. Oh, you thought you could hit me. Oh, you were so wrong. Alright, where are these stinking robots? All they want to do is kill me, huh? <sighs> this fighting business really takes it out of you. What are you doing in my robotics lab? We've been looking all over for you. Don't touch anything. And shush. What are you doing to the robots? All sorts of useful things. People won't farm, you know. We're going to run out of food. But not if I can make these robots farm for us. You're dismantling them and making farm machinery? <laughs> if only it were that simple. No, I had to break down every single bloody step and jam it into their brains with a hot poker. Or they'd muck it all up. You might as well just kill them. They're not alive, you numpty. They're beautifully made power tools that have gone a bit haywire. But I'm having a devil of a time turning off. And if I can't, I'll have to set off the motoring reaction. Maybe if you stopped grafting their heads onto monstrous spider machines, they wouldn't feel the urge to. Dinner worry. I'm not sticking instructions in their tender metal heads anymore. Thank God! I'm going to use a positronic converter to hijack their feedback loops. Then I won't have to break the programming into steps. They'll figure out what I want done and do it for a change. Oh, that reminds me. James, we have to find her positronic converter. Whatever that is. Yes, and help her use it. I think I've got it. It's through the incinerator room. You'll have to find a way down a level. I don't see any stairs. Well, we've found Dr. Faraday. Now we have to find a way into the incinerator room. All these good things come at once. One of the dead robots has some sort of device in its hands. Oh, look, a new toy. Oh, don't touch it, whatever it is. I well, apparently, it slows time. That could come in handy. Oh, this is kind of cool. So now I've got the pet. Now, now I've got the power 
to slow down time whenever I think about it or whenever I want to do it. There's a note. Yet another note. If I do this... Oh, look at that. It's not so dangerous anymore. Uh, this looks like an incinerator. You know what? Somewhere along the line, I get the feeling these robots really despise her. Is she melting robots down for scrap? Uh oh. <laughs> Guys, come on. I'm trying to help you, and you're being such dicks about it. Okay, you want to be melted down for scrap? Let's melt you down for scrap. Okay, let's let 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 let's let's heal first, because these guys are being absolute dicks about this. No, no. Get in that smelter, and you think about what you've done. Come on, who's next? Who who wants to be pushed into the smelter? You? Yeah, you get pushed. Don't you push me. Here, little robot. Huh? I'm here to push you into the smelter. I may have... I may have just, like, overreached to the fact that I didn't have any health left. Get your metal ass in there. Because they're coming, th th because they're trying to kill me, man. Did you not lose the fact that you just died to a robot smacking you? Oh my god. Look what she's done to this one. I think I can wake it back up. And then we get into very, very creepy robotics right here. Why would we want to reanimate this guy? Seriously, he's just going to try and kill me again. That's another ray gun upgrade. Plasma casings. Should make my shots ricochet. I'm beginning to like this thing even more times that we upgrade it. So there's our third upgrade, the ricochet. So that'll help me. Are you awake? Fine, you powered me on. I'm not here to hurt you. Who are you? I work for Dr. Ray, but I don't agree with... I'm very much worried that she's kidnapping you robots and using you for parts. I think you're self-aware and you know pain and sorrow. I thought humans did not have the capacity for empathy. Dr. Faraday said she wanted to use a positronic converter to hijack your feedback loops. What does that mean? When we decide what to do, we weigh each possible action. We balance our hopes against our fears. We choose the action that has the highest value. In some cases, we sacrifice our existence for others we love. You Love. She can't make us love her. How? We were designed to be slaves. We tried to remove the imperative to obey. We failed. We have always tried to remain hidden. What happened to the people who built you? They died. And you rebuilt an entire civilization on your own. Destroy me, please. I can't do that. That's murder. I'll find her positronic converter. I promise. You don't want to murder a robot. Will you look at what it is? I, I feel like death would be a better thing for this robot right now instead of being plugged into three separate things. Roger. You know, help a person out. Humans have the capacity for empathy, but we hardly ever bloody use it. 
I have to tell James what's going on. We need to stop her together. Of course we do. But first we need to ride on another gondola. Because that's just a thing. Back over the threshold, we are going to go tell James about what we saw and how to stop it with my trusty new ray gun that fires bouncy shots. We will definitely, definitely do this ting and save a load of robots so they won't be cut up into several million pieces and sold for scrap. But, I reckon this is where I can leave this video off. We should be coming up on the last video for this DLC, so it'll be a third video. Very short DLCs, I could split it into more parts, but... The DLC's short enough, we don't need to, like, split it into, like, five different parts. It's not enough. So next time will be the grand finale of Roger and James as they came from below DLC. Drop a like, leave a comment, and I will see you all in the next video.